What I do want to show you is just a couple of the novel things out here. Um, this one, just because I mentioned it yesterday, I wanted to show you the track balloon. And Connor, go ahead and come around over here with some gloves on if you have it. Uh, just a zero. Yeah, please. Thanks. Uh, overhead shot, Ben. Ben, can you give me the overhead shot? Oh, there we go. Awesome. All right. So this is, it's, it's kind of large here. Um, and let's just take a quick look at a before. See if we can find something to take care of. All right. That's obviously a nice straight septum. So let's just look at it before here. Uh, obviously, you've anesthetized the patient. I use tetracaine 10%. I also inject along the inferior turbinate and into the um, uh, along the septum. Now, with the overhead shot again, here's the tough part. This is, uh, we can keep it on the endoscope. So th when you inflate this, if it's over a spur, you have a chance of popping the balloon, obviously. So it's something to keep in mind. You know, sharp spurs aren't the best case for this. But you have to exert a fair amount of pressure with your hand to keep pushing it into the nose. Otherwise, it's going to pop out. So Connor, go ahead. And you can see how it starts to really distort the nostril. But the patient's doing okay right here. I know. Kevin, it's not that bad. You're next. All right, and deflate. So let's see how it, how it looks. So it does a wonderful job out fracturing that inferior turbinate, right? And it did, you know, this is the maxillary crest, right? So that's the mushroom of the maxillary crest. So you're not going to move that with a balloon. The, the next challenge is after you use it like that, now you can see how, how thin it is. It's no longer that nice, tight balloon. And it's hard at the, for the next side to get it back in. You really got to like ugh, get it in there. So just know that um, that's a little bit of a challenge. Do patients tolerate that awake? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely done awake. This is like you, the patient's too sick or you're doing in-office procedures. You don't want to go to the OR with them, or they don't want to go to the OR. And this is a nice, closed septal reduction with outfracture of inferior turbinate. Great question. Uh, let's do uh, two PNN ablations. Uh, if Aaron Medical, if Trevor's here, I can show him the right air real quick too. But um, this is the Clarifix device. And. Yeah, pro tip, you, you got to get your workout in. And tighten that down. And as we go in, we're going to tuck it right underneath the attachment of the middle turbinate. And you just pull the trigger. And if I did things right, which I did not, it would be inflating with gas. And it will freeze that tissue right there. The key is make sure you're not over the torus back there. You just want to be tucked up right in this little position there. Thank you. The second thing that we have, this is uh, the newest device on the block by Neurit Medical uh, called Neuromark. And it uses RF energy. So this is for posterior nasal nerve ablation, for significant post nasal drainage. Uh, it deploys like this. And you see these sets of leaflets. So it's nice to deploy in the nasopharynx and then just pull it kind of out and back, and the, the machine knows what side you're on. And so these leaflets that are next to the septum are not active. It's only the leaflets that are on the proper side. So in this patient, it's the left-sided leaflets are active because we're working on the right side. And it's just, a, it's, you can see how it impacts so many different areas, uh, making these little micro lesions to the posterior nasal nerve. Um, it's very atraumatic. You can see it, it wraps around the middle turbinate, but again, these leaflets are doing nothing until you switch to the other side. You tell the machine that you're on the left side and it knows to change that. And uh, one more shot here with the Clarifix, just so you can see the snow effect. There it goes, and, and it's uh, 30 seconds, is that right? I haven't done it for a while, but yeah. 
30 seconds. Oh, after you do it, um, you want to make sure the patient breathes in and out until you see those crystals dissolve. If you pop it off when it's frozen and stuck to it, it's like you know, your tongue on a frozen flagpole. Not, not a good idea. Uh, ben, if we could go to the overhead view. The last thing, uh, if, if you haven't used the Latera implant, this is a really neat device. Um, hardest part of the procedure, though, is loading it. Oh, yeah. And it's just uh, here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and stick it in. And don't, don't put it in yet. All right. So Ben, overhead picture, please. There we go. So it's in this little thing right there. Slide it down until it clicks. And then, no. Nah. There's two different sizes. There is a 20 millimeter and a 24 millimeter. The vast majority of my patients will get a 20 millimeter. It's really nice to have a double prong sharp skin hook. And you just, so the first thing you're gonna do is right at the uh, lateral crua here, you're gonna inject. And you're gonna inject going in here and you traverse right up the lateral nasal wall. And the key is, with the bevel kind of pointing towards you here, you just push in. You have to have that traction, counter traction. And see if I can show you. Sorry, we have this is really tight. You're probably going to need to take the towel off of your specimen or have a lovely, wonderful assistant help you out here. Thanks, Araf. So as you go in, now hopefully you can see, Ben, if you can zoom in on the nose, that'd be great. You can see how, you can actually see where the tip of it is. And you're kind of palpating as you go up. Palping it, and then there's the bone. I feel it right there. Let's get over the top of this. There we go. And just as you get there, I'm gonna keep, now the bevel is towards the bone. So as you deploy it, you, you push this little thing in, and then it advances in, it clicks, and then you just keep your finger over the device, and you wiggle it out like that, and that's the Latera implant. And if you do things right, you can't see it. Um, that's one of the risks of this is, is uh, skin show of the, of the implant. It does dissolve in about a year and a half. Um, Final thing that we'll show, if you haven't used propels, there are some propel stents here. This is uh, the propel contour. If we go to the endoscopic view, thanks, Ben. And it's a nice device, mometasone coated, and you can just plop it up there and deploy it. You want to make sure that the belt of it, the middle of it, is right at that frontal recess. And you always want to make sure that it opens up like that, this nice flower pattern. If the leaflets are crisscrossed, take it out, reload it. Um, it will only deliver the steroids where it's touching the mucosa. All right, that's it. Let's uh, operate for the next like two hours, everybody.